Now, the Russian-made missile hit Poland near its border with Ukraine, and it's prompted the NATO member to trigger Article 4 of the military alliance. Uh, NATO ambassadors are meeting now in Brussels, and we can go across to our correspondent, uh, Pierre Benazet. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Pierre. What can we expect to come out of this meeting? Well, first, the uh, allies obviously are all going to listen to the uh, uh, proofs that Poland is supposed to uh, put onto the table this morning as to uh, what they know about this missile, where it comes from, uh, where it was manufactured, uh, where it was likely to have been fired. Uh, this is the uh, main aim of this meeting, which is a uh, regular meeting that was transformed into an emergency meeting uh, in the course of the night. Uh, just after the news that came about the deaths in Chevodov uh, early in the uh, evening yesterday. Uh, obviously, Poland is able to uh, trigger Article 4, is able to ask for it. Uh, that's one of the aims of the meeting. But we don't know as yet whether Poland is going to ask for this uh, triggering of Article 4, uh, which is only triggered when a state can fear um, <clears throat> that there are threats against its security, its uh, territorial integrity or its political independence. Uh, those are the three main factors. Uh, when this Article 4 is triggered, usually it comes, uh, it, it usually triggers also uh, direct military aid. Uh, we've seen in uh, Turkey uh, eight years ago, uh, when Turkey had act triggered active Article 4, uh, that uh, Patriot missile, bu missile batteries were sent to uh, Turkey uh, on the uh, Syrian border. That could be one of the outcomes. But it is not clear as yet whether Poland is going to actually trigger Article 4, uh, because all NATO allies are very wary of any uh, risk of escalation when there is still no tangible proof. Uh, we know that uh, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg uh, said that uh, all facts must be established first. And that's, uh, the, um, that's the phrase we ha hear from all the uh, chanceries in uh, Europe and in the United States, obviously. Yeah, thank you very much for that, Pierre Benazir, reporting there for us from uh, Brussels.